Hi, today we're going to be learning about substitution with algebraic expressions to be able to find the value of an algebraic expression using values that you've been given for the variables. Okay, so first we have already done this before. We've, we have touched on substitution. We're just going to be doing a little bit more detailed versions of it now where you have more than one variable that you're substituting values in for. Okay, so just to remind you about the process when you are substituting, you first are going to be replacing the variable with the value that you are given. Okay, so if you have two variables or three variables, you'll replace each of the variables with the values that you have been given for those variables. Okay, and remember when you are doing that, you have to put it in brackets. That is super, super important. If you don't put it in brackets, you're going to end up with problems. Okay, so you replace the variable and you put it in brackets. And then, once you've put in your values, you need to then simplify it. And you need to remember the order of operations for simplifying it. So you're going to use bed mass when you're simplifying. Okay, so remember bed mass, we've got brackets. Anything that's inside brackets needs to be worked out first. Then we've got exponents. It needs to be worked out next. Then division and multiplication go together and addition and subtraction go together. Okay, so let's have a look at an example. So in this example, we are told to determine the value of the expression if a is 2, b is negative 3, and c is 4. And the expression we've been given over here is 3a minus 2b squared minus 4bc plus, in brackets, a plus b cubed. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to replace our variables with the values we've been given by putting them in brackets. Okay, so first I've got 3. Now a, they told us, is 2. So I'm going to replace the a with 2 in brackets, minus 2. And then b, they told me, is negative 3. So I'm going to replace the b squared with negative 3 in brackets squared. Okay, then I've got minus 4. Then b is negative 3, so that goes in brackets. C, they told me, is 4, so that's also going to go in brackets. Then plus, in brackets, I've got A. So now I'm going to have brackets inside brackets. Don't freak out about that, though. Okay, so we've got brackets inside brackets. So my A is going to be 2 in brackets. Plus, B is negative 3 in brackets. Now, you could, if you wanted, change these brackets to square brackets just so you can see the difference between them, but it's not really necessary. Cubed. Okay. So now we've got our expression with all the values subbed in. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to use bed mass to simplify. So the first step I need to do is simplify anything that's inside brackets. Okay, so be be before that, I need to get rid of my brackets that are inside the brackets. Okay, so I'm going to sort that out first. Everything else I'm going to leave as it is for now. So I've got 3 and then times 2 minus 2, negative 3 squared minus 4 negative 3 times 4 plus and then in my brackets over here there's nothing that I need to do to the 2 so it can just be 2 and then I've got plus negative 3 is minus 3 cubed okay now I can go and simplify what's inside those brackets so I've got 3 times 2 minus 2 negative 3 squared minus 4 negative 3 times 4 plus, and then 2 minus 3 is negative 1, cubed. Okay, so now I've done the B part of my bed mass. That's brackets. That's what's inside the brackets. I simplified that. Now I'm going to go on to the E, which is exponents. Okay, so I've got an exponent here, and I've got an exponent here that I need to sort out. So everything else is just going to stay as it is for now. Minus 2, and then negative 3 squared. Now, because this is an even exponent, this is going to become positive, so it's going to be positive, and 3 squared is 9. Minus 4, negative 3 times 4, and then plus negative 1 cubed. An odd exponent means that this is going to stay negative, and 1 cubed is just 1. And now I'm going to simplify that by doing my multiplication. So 3 times 2 is 6, minus 2 times 9 is minus 18. 
minus 4 times negative 3 times 4. Okay, so first of all, negative times ne negative is positive. 4 times 3 is 12 times 4 is 48. And then plus negative 1 is minus 1. Okay, so that's what I've got so far. Now I need to do the last part. So now I've done the B, which was simplifying what was inside the brackets. I've done my exponents. Now I've done my multiplication, and if there was division, I would have done that too. Now I'm going to go on to my addition and subtraction. So I've got 6 minus 18 plus 48 minus 1. 48 minus 18 is going to be 30. So I've got 6 plus 30 is 36 minus 1 is 35. So for this whole example, I get 35 with those values that they gave me for A, B, and C. Okay, so now it's your chance to do some for yourself. So in all of these examples that you're going to be doing, you're going to be using these same values for A, B, and C. You've got A is negative 1, B is negative 2, and C is 3. So I'm going to give you five examples that you're going to be working on using the same A, B, and C values in all of them. The first one is this one over here. So you've got here are your a, b, and c values. Again, that's a is negative 1, b is negative 2, and c is 3. In the first example, you have to work out the value of this expression, 5a plus 2b minus 5c, using those values. And I'm going to give you one minute to work on this example. Okay, so let's go through that. So in this example, we've got 5a plus 2b minus 5c. So first we're going to substitute in the values that they gave us. Okay, so a they told us is negative 1. So it's going to be 5 times negative 1 in brackets. Plus 2 times b, which they told us was negative 2. Minus 5 times c, which they said is 3. Okay, so now I'm going to go and do this. The B and the E part of my bed mass I don't have to worry about because there's nothing to do inside the brackets and there are no exponents. So I can go straight on to my multiplication and division. In this case, the only multiplication. So I've got 5 times negative 1 is minus 5, or negative 5, plus 2 times negative 2 is minus 4, and negative 5 times 3 is minus 15. Okay, now I'm going to go and simplify. So I've got negative 5 minus 4 minus 15. That gives me negative 24. So you should have got for question A, negative 24. Okay, now let's go on to question B. So in question B, it's the same A, B, and C values, but now your expression is in brackets A minus B minus C cubed. Okay, so I'm going to give you again one minute to work on this example.
Okay, so let's see how you did with that. So first, the expression that I'm starting with over here for question B is in brackets a minus b minus c, and then that is all cubed. Okay, so now I'm going to substitute in the values that they gave us. So a is negative 1 in brackets, minus b, which is negative 2, also in brackets, Min uh, also minus c, which is 3 in brackets. And then I close my big brackets, and that is cubed. Now I'm going to go and sort out getting rid of those brackets inside brackets, because I don't want to have those. So over here, I've got nothing to do to the negative 1, so it just stays negative 1, but I can drop the brackets. Then I've got minus negative 2 becomes plus 2, and then minus 3 is just minus 3. Okay, and then that is cubed. Now I need to go and simplify what is inside the brackets. So negative 1 plus 2 minus 3, that gives me negative 2 cubed. And then I'm going to simplify that, and now because it's an odd exponent, that is going to stay negative, and 2 cubed is 8. So for question B, you should have got negative 8. Okay, and then the next one. So for this question, you've got 2ab plus 3bc minus 4ac. Now there's a bit more substituting to do in this one, so I'm going to give you two minutes to work on this example. Okay, so let's see how you did with that example. So in this one, we had 2ab plus 3bc minus 4ac. So first, we're going to go and substitute in our values. So I've got 2, and then a is negative 1 in brackets. b is negative 2 in brackets, plus 3 times b, which is negative 2 in brackets, and c, which is 3 in brackets minus 4 times a, which is negative 1 in brackets, and c, which is 3 in brackets. Okay, so that is what you should have got when you substituted. Now we're going to go, and there's no nothing to do inside brackets, and there's no exponent, so I can go straight onto the, the division and multiplication part of bed mass, which in this case is just multiplication. Okay, so I've got 2 times negative 1 times negative 2, that's positive 4. Then positive 3 times negative 2 times 3 is negative. 3 times 2 is 6 times 3 is 18. Then negative 4 times negative 1 times 3 is positive 12. So I have 4 minus 18 plus 12. And that all gives you negative 2. So for question C, you should have got negative 2. Okay, so now you're going to do the next one. Question D. 
Okay, so this one, there's not as much substituting to do, but there is a little bit more calculating to do. So I'm going to give you two minutes to work on this one again. Okay, so let's see how you did with that. Okay, so in this example, we had B, and then in brackets, negative A, B, C, close the brackets, and it's squared. Okay, so first we're going to substitute in. So we've got, for B, it is negative 2 in brackets. Then I open my big brackets, and I've got a minus, and then I've got A, which is negative 1 in brackets. B is negative 2 in brackets, and C is three in brackets, and then I close the big brackets, and that is squared. Okay, so now I'm going to go and simplify what I can inside the brackets over here. So I've got negative two, and then inside the brackets, I've got a negative times a negative times a negative is negative, and then one times two times three is six, and that is squared. So I have negative two times negative six squared. Now I need to go and simplify, uh, sort out my exponent. So the negative 2 is going to stay as it is for now. It's just the negative 6 that I'm squaring. So if it's an even exponent, this is going to become positive. So it's going to be positive 6 squared, which is 36. And then I multiply the 36 by negative 2, and that gives me negative 72. So for question D, you should have got negative 72. Now we're going to go on to the last question for today. Now, in this one, it's a little bit more complicated because you have got a fraction to deal with. Okay, so when you're doing this, uh, you're going to substitute in your values and you need to simplify everything in the numerator and everything in the denominator and then you're going to simplify uh, the division at the end. Because this makes it like it's in brackets and this makes it like it's in brackets. Your numerator is all treated as though it's in brackets. Your denominator is all treated as though it's in brackets. So that actually goes before you do the division in this example. Okay, so I'm going to give you two minutes to work on this.
Okay, so let's see how you do with the last question. So first of all, I've got my question A, B plus B, C plus B all over B plus A. So I'm going to go and substitute in. For A, I've got negative 1 in brackets. Then B is negative 2 in brackets plus B again is negative 2 in brackets and C is 3 in brackets plus B is negative 2 in brackets. And that is all over B plus A. So that's going to be negative 2 plus negative 1. Okay, so now that I've done that, my next step is, remember I said that this, we're going to treat it as though this, you can't see the brackets, but when you've got a fraction, the fraction line divides it into a numerator and a denominator, and the numerator and the denominator are treated as though they are brackets. Okay, so over here I'm going to do that, and that I need to simplify the stuff inside there first, using bed mass inside the brackets. So division and multiplication inside those brackets would go first, or in the numerator is going to go first. So I've got negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. Plus negative 2 times 3 is minus 6, and then plus negative 2 is minus 2. So my numerator is 2 minus 6 minus 2. And in my denominator, the negative 2, I can just drop the brackets there. And then plus negative 1 is minus 1. So that's what you should have once you get rid of all the brackets in your numerator and in your denominator. Now we're going to go and simplify the numerator, and we get 2 minus 6 minus 2 is negative 6 over negative 2 minus 1, which is negative 3. Now we can go and do our division. Negative 6 divided by negative 3, and negative divided by negative is positive. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So that's what you should have got for question E. You should have ended up with 2. And that's how we do substitution when we're working with algebraic expressions. Now that we've learned the concepts in this lesson, it's important to practice, practice, practice. If you haven't already got the worksheet that goes with this video, you can find it by clicking on the link in the description below. The worksheet comes with an extra exercise full of questions for you to work on to master the concepts covered in this lesson. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button so that others can benefit from it too. Also be sure to subscribe so that you can easily find my other lessons and hit the bell so that you will get notified about lessons as I upload them.